Alright sisters fans, well it looks like this could be one of my final videos before the next episode airs tomorrow night. Depending on if we get any sneak peeks or TV line articles or things like that. But a post I made a few days ago about <laughs> Karen intervention numbers 92 being a waste of time. Yeah, I feel like this is one of my biggest fears for the episode where bulk of it will be focused on the girls going over to Karen's apartment for basically nothing. I mean, I just feel like we all know the same song and dance. Uh, Karen is going to be in her place. The girls are going to show up unannounced. She's going to be like, what are y'all doing here now? Uh, they're all going to sit on the couch. Danny looks disinterested. Andy looks nervous. Sabrina is Sabrina. And, you know, from there, Danny is going to be the icebreaker. I mean... Andy might be the first one to say something, but Danny is going to be the one who, you know, she's like, so, uh, how are you? But then Danny's like, cut the bull crap. Look, what, are, is Zach the daddy or not? What's going on? But I do feel like, um, from there, so Andy's going to be like, no, no, no. And then Sabrina's going to be like, you know, her backup, you know, singer, like, hey, hey, hey no, we didn't come over here to be, we're just going to, you know, talk about this. And then, you know, Danny's going to shut up. Because at this point, it's like, look, I came over here wasting my time to get to the bottom of this, but y'all want to be around the bush. It's ridiculous. And I think I mentioned this as well. What I do hope, what I do hope is brought up during this meeting to not make it a complete waste of time is the blank sheet of paper from the last uh, big powwow at Karen's apartment. You know, when Fatima barged in, I want, I want Danny to bring, because you know, Danny's going to bring it up. What? Why did you have that blank sheet of paper in that folder, and you wanted Zach to, you know, touch it? What, what's going on? What's going on? I want that to be the main focus of the conversation because, based on the promo, you can't tell Karen that Zach isn't the father of that child. Simple as that. And Andy's going to be like, "Well, is it possible you were intimate with someone else?" And then Karen's going to give her a nasty look, and then she'll back down. And I don't know, maybe from there, the girl's just sitting there. Danny's like, what did I even come here? And then Andy gets a text message or, you know, a message from the dating app. And then she decides to leave to go on her date. And then the other girls go too to be her backup. And then Karen is left there alone until Aaron comes over later that night to check on her, no doubt. But it just really feels like we're going to just be wasting our time for the umpteenth time. With the girls trying to talk some sense into Karen, Karen not wanting to listen because she knows who the father of this child is, despite the paperwork saying that, or let me be more specific, despite the paperwork that she sent to Andy slash Fatima saying that Aaron isn't the father, yet it doesn't confirm Zach is the father because there is no DNA from him to be tested. So it just seems to me like we're yet again going to sit here and deal with Karen's thick skull not being able to absorb the sense that the other girls are trying to pump into her. You know, she's going to be gaslighting herself, saying, oh, you're siding with Fatima, you're siding with Zach, you need to get the hell up out of my place. And then the girls are just going to leave. So I just feel like we're going to be in for a waste of time. If anything else, Danny is probably going to be the highlight of this entire uh, get-together, but it just feels like more of the same. Hopefully I'm wrong, but history has shown... Uh, I'm usually correct when I predict how these meetings are going to go, but let's see what you think. Let me know in the comment section and I'll catch you in the next video.